What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking about is it realistic to dream big? In this life that we live, many of us want to dream big. We want to have dreams, goals, aspirations. And we don't understand what goes behind those dreams. Sometimes we see something due to marketing, due to promotion, due to what we see others do. And we decide that we want to make it our career path. We want to make it our dream. We may have the dream to live lavish. We have the dream to make it big, to have status, to have monetary gains, to have freedom, power, without understanding what it entails for your dream. We have to understand sometimes the dreams that we want to achieve in this life. We have to understand is it in accordance to the Most High? Does the Most High approve of these dreams? Do we know what work goes into our dreams? Do you know the team that you have to build? Do you know the marketing that you have to spend money on? Do you know if your dream is something where it may put you in debt at the first part of your dream and you'll be in the red before you can be in a better situation? Does your dream come with having to have people invest in you? Because if people invest in you time and time again, if you have a dream and these people invest in you, sometimes your dream can't be in accordance to how you want to do it or the most high. Sometimes if people are investing in your dream, they'll more so look at it as a investment and you have to follow what they do and their plan instead of you following your dreams, following your plan for your own dream. Understand that sometimes you may have to fake it to make it with your dream and with faking it to make it. I don't approve of that, but people approve of that in this day and age due to the fact that people live worldly instead of understanding what it entails to actually fake it to make it. People think fake it to make it is something that's simple, but in reality, you're more at risk faking it to make it than you actually laying the groundwork, laying the foundation down for your dreams. Understand that all these things that you have to go through to make your dreams come true, are you willing to go through it to make your dreams come true? Because many times we see things in media and we don't understand the backstory behind how people became successful through their dreams, but there's many different things that we don't know but since we see things from a outer perspective and we do not deep dive into what really goes on in this world, many times we're in confusion. We get persuaded by the illusion and we think it's easy to get in that spot. But in reality, many things go on and we have to understand what goes on. And if the dreams that we decide to pursue goes in accordance with the most high, does the Most High approve? Once again, does the Most High look at our dreams and look at it something where... Does the Most High look at our dreams and looking at, at it as something where we can help others through our dreams, where we can inspire, motivate, and show others about the Most High? We have to understand what we have to do in order for our dreams to come true. The reality of dreams. Many times these dreams that we see People are faking it to make it and faking it to make it is a huge topic due to the fact of you may think someone is being authentic due to it working out on the outer perspective. But in reality, people are renting cars, Airbnbs, borrowing clothes, making themselves look like they're a social status on the Internet, making themselves look like they live a life of luxury, making themselves look like they have money. Sometimes they make it seem that they have money by, you know, buying people to actually be around them, to be honest with you. Sometimes people just buy people to be around them to show that they have status, show that they have value. Sometimes in your dream, you may have to go places that you don't even want to go to just to have the illusion of status. Many times. You may have to be around people that you don't even associate yourself with or know like that, but we call it networking, but you don't even know these individuals. Sometimes people 
go to the furthest extent to buy followers, subscribers, views on their social media platforms to make others feel like they're successful. But in reality, behind the scenes, no monetary gains is coming from their dream. Nothing is working out. People take out loans to pursue their dreams, to make their dreams work. So you have to understand what your dream is and understand that many people fake it to make it just because of the illusion of success. Many people make it seem as though they're successful with their dream. But if you really deep dive and really see the inner perspective of someone's dream, you'll understand that it's more to it than what meets the eye. Sometimes we look at other people's dream in their life and we wish we had the life that they had. But if they're keeping up an illusion to try and fool you and to make you feel as though that you should do the same thing, then you're in troubled waters. Understand that if your dream is special to you, your purpose is special to you, understand that you don't have to fake it in order for people to gravitate to what you're doing. Authenticity is always the best option, even though authenticity, you're going to have to take the route less traveled, the road less traveled. And honestly, with being in accordance with the most high, the most high will put you in a place in a position better than somebody who's faking it to make it. Sometimes you could only keep up the illusion for so long. And once that illusion runs out, it's over, it's finished. Many people have to keep up illusions to keep their career going, to keep people satisfied. They have to do things behind the scenes that we don't see normal. They have to do things behind the scenes that we don't see most of the times. And we have to understand what are you willing to do and how far are you willing to take it in order for you to have dreams. Understand that your dreams are important, yes, but for you in this life, morals, principles, respect, understanding yourself is far much more important than doing things in order for your dreams to come true. Because in the end, if you do things for your dream to come true, your soul is what's gonna be destroyed in it. Understand that your soul is important. Understand that your soul is important. It's better than anything else. And understand that the things of this world are temporary and base your decisions off of understanding and really deep diving and understanding that your soul is important to you. Understand that many times people will do anything for their dream due to the fact of not having money when they're growing up or even not having money right now. So whatever they have to do to make their dreams come true, they're willing to do it, even if it's things that are corruptible towards themselves or towards others. And that's the thing with your dream. Once you reach the point where you have to do things to corrupt others and corrupt yourself and hurt others and do things that are not pleasing in order for your dreams to come true, you already lost. People make it seem like they win due to the fact of them harming others, due to the fact of what they have to do to make their dreams come true, and they think they won in the end. But in reality, those dreams are short-lived. You're here today, you're gone tomorrow. But make sure that when you're pursuing your dream and what you decide to pursue, that the most high be the head of the dream that you decide to pursue. Always walk with the most high and think, what would the most high do? Think, would the most high approve of this? Think, would the most high give me consequences for what I do? If we walk and understand that the Most High should be the head of anything that we do, our decisions towards our dreams, our goals, our ambitions, our aspirations will be different. So understand that, yes, you can have dreams, you can have goals, aspirations, but ultimately decide what you want to do with your dreams, how you want to accomplish it, and how you want to get it done, and how you can 
inspire others, motivate others, and show others the way through your dreams. You want to feel as though you're superior towards others through your dreams, then there's no point. But in reality, we have to see things from a realistic perspective. And we have to understand that every move that we make, we have to look at it from a realistic perspective. If we don't look at it from a realistic perspective, we will be consumed with illusions and illusions could destroy us in the long run. Lastly, if your dreams lean more towards worldly pleasures, worldly desires, it isn't going in accordance with the Most High and His plan for you. If you're self-absorbed through your dreams and you start to become selfish, start to think about yourself, start to do things that are unpleasant to manifest your dreams, to make your dreams come true, you're in troubled waters. Maybe you should rethink your dreams. Understand that God can bless you, but also the devil can make it seem like he blesses you, but in reality, it's an illusion. The devil comes to collect and he comes to seek and destroy. So know that we should always seek God's blessing and know that the devil tries to mimic God and the devil tries to move as though he has his own kingdom that can reign over God's kingdom. Understand that the devil will do things and put things in front of you to try and manifest your dream, to try to make it seem like you can do wicked in order to get your dreams to work. But in reality, he's only destroying you. We should always go in accordance with the Most High, go in accordance with his word, follow his statutes and commandments and understand that in this life, there's always gonna be a battle between good and evil, but choose good, choose righteousness, choose a way that the Most High will approve of. And if the Most High approves of your dreams and your dreams inspire, motivate, and help others through a day-to-day -day basis and lead others towards the Most High, chase your dreams, pursue your dreams, but always remember to put the Most High at the forefront of your dreams. Like, subscribe, comment down below, share this video. Peace.